special guest, we have Kenny Daniels in the house, a former Matador uh, uh, from 2008 to 2010 here at CSUN uh, with the men's basketball team, a member of the 2009 Big West Championship team uh, at CSUN. Uh, Kenny, how's it going? I'm pretty good. How are you doing? Doing good, doing good. Thank you for taking some uh, time out of your day to talk a little bit uh, about your past at CSUN. Uh, the, it's, I'm sure, great memories uh, for you. Well, first I have to say uh, thank you for having me. And um, yeah, those were the days, huh? Had some good times. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. And the uh, Matadors were, uh, you know, one of the top Big West teams at the time. But I uh, wanted to talk a little bit uh, just about, uh, we'll go a little backwards, but I mean, uh, you had a chance to play overseas professionally. Talk to the Matador fans out there uh, a little bit about um, your post, uh, post uh, CSUN days uh, playing basketball overseas. Well, I went, over, I, went, I went to Sweden and I went to Sweden with Willie Gallick. So it was me and Willie Gallick. We, uh, we played for the side of Telia Kings inside the Telia Sweden. And um, unfortunately, I was only there for two months. I had a nagging injury with my foot and it got to the point so I, I couldn't take it anymore. But while I was there, I had an amazing time. It was a, it was a blast. Um, like I said, unfortunately, injuries kind of took me out early tonight and I hope so. So you were there about uh, you know, a, little, a short amount of time, a few months. Uh, Do you have a chance to kind of see the differences from life in Sweden, life in the US? Any any uh, differences there from that standpoint? First thing I noticed is that um, the food. Mm. It's like uh, they has less sugar in everything they eat. Um, I think their 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 diet is, is way more better is way more healthier than ours. Um, it was definitely a change, um, but for the most part, I mean, the food was the food was different. The taste wasn't as sweet as I was used to, as I as I as I was used to. Um, and um, which I'm trying to think back. And um, that's all I can think of right now. The can the candy tastes totally different. At that point, I, I ate a lot of sweets, but now now I'm a plant based vegan. I don't eat sweets, but um, the candy tastes totally different. Um, it was it was, just, it was it was kind of a culture shock. Cause I never like. I never been to a place like that before in my life, so it was kind of a culture shock. But once I, you know, got used to it, it was pretty fine. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, all, all those in mean, the foods. It's one of the things that we don't think about, <laughs> you know, from from different uh, parts of the world. Uh, let's go back a little bit in time. Uh, your Matador history uh, to, from 2008 to 2010. You were with the team under head coach Bobby Braswell. All those Matador teams uh, known for their defense. I mean, very tough-minded uh, uh, group. Talk, talk to me a little bit about what are some of your uh, past CSUN memories that you kind of look back on and uh, look back fondly on? Well, that first year, um, I was a junior. You know, I was a JUCO transfer, so I was a junior coming in. Um, we didn't do very well starting off, but um, we made some adjustments and we got things up to we, – we started to get going. And um, my junior year, I would say that, you know, I had, that was the best time I've had at CSUN. The, the group of guys we had, um, you know, the adversity we had to overcome, it was just amazing. Then, like, to, to be able to win a championship and then go to the tournament, it was just surreal. Yeah, and you mentioned uh, Willie Gallick. I mean, those, those all those players, uh, you know, Trey Townsend. I mean, there, there's just so many guys. You go down the line. Really wasn't uh, maybe a team that had, like, one or two players that had more, like, seven or eight uh, that, that were all effective. Um, talk to me a little bit about, your time in the NCAA tournament, I mean, the team uh, gave Memphis a heck of a run, uh, giving them all they, they, they wanted and more. Uh, what, what, what about your time in the tournament that you uh, most remember and uh, as you look back on? Um, on the tournament, it was, it, was, it, was, it was almost like one of those things where it's like you blink and it's just gone. It was like it happened so fast. It was like the spur of the moment. Um, you wanted to give everything you had to give, you know, to get people to look at what you can do, let them know that you deserve to be there. Um, confidently, I thought we could have beat Memphis, but um, I think that when Trey went down with the fouls, it kind of like took us out of the game. Um, but um, it, was, it was a blast, man, playing, playing, playing alongside Mark Hill, Robbie Haynes, and uh, Roderick Mez, all those guys, man, it was, it was a blast. The tournament was amazing. It was everything I thought it would be. You yeah. know, I think, I think it's, um, it's every player's dream to get a chance to play in the NCAA tournament. And, um, 
it was definitely, you know, what you dreamed it would be. Yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah, just fun uh, memories for CSUN fans, you know, even, even now looking back on that game. Um, I want to talk a little bit about one game in particular, not that year. I believe it was your, your senior year. You got 39 points in a game against Idaho. Uh, to this day, still the most uh, points scored by a Division One CSUN player. Any memories of that game? I mean, anything that stick out? I mean, uh, I, I have here that you <laughs> shot really well, I mean, over 60% or so from the field. Uh, any, mm -hmm. Anything that sticks out from that game? Um. I don't know what happened, but I just I came. I don't know what happened the game before, but that game particular, I just felt like I had to come out aggressive. I think maybe we, we may have lost the game before, and I've shot horrible or something, and I just had to I just had to come out and play aggressive. Um, I know prior to that game, me me and uh, Vinnie McGee, we went to the gym every night and like got up extra shots, worked on like a couple of things, so my confidence was kind of skyrocketed at that moment. And also. And um, I don't know. I just I felt pretty good, you know. I was hitting all my shots. Um, I was getting the fouls. You know, I loved going to the free throw line. I think I shot maybe like eighty some, eighty some percent. Um, I don't think it was it was anything special. But I know they beat us the year before, so I wanted to beat them. But uh, other than that, it was just like a normal day, normal game. Another day at the office. <laughs> yeah well well Kenny thank you so much uh for taking time out of your schedule again uh for for kind of going back in the time machine talk about a little bit about your matador past uh just appreciate the time please uh, stay safe of course uh you know right now uh what we're going through just stay safe as much as possible thank you thank you all right matter fans uh check out uh, today's game hope you enjoy it